to Farad Muhammad. Mm. These niggas to pray to Farad. Mm. They just pray stand up. They were still praying. So motherfucker they couldn't even see because he disappeared. Right? Mm. Now I'm not reading this shit and I said, hold on, man. How the fuck I'm the black seed and the lessons telling me that shit. First being a student of Roman, first being the one of 40. All of them is telling me that I'm God and I'm the black seed. Now how the fuck am I gonna pray this motherfucker? You know, that's, that's mixed. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So he's in the temple and he's teaching motherfucker, you listen, you're a Muslim. But the black man God, plain and simple. This is what he's teaching them. And they went back, tell them, they little snitches bitches, right? You know, Clarence and so Malcolm X and Captain Joe Mal approached them. And they went to the thing, you can't be doing this, that, 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 that. You can't teach. Father said, listen, I'm trying to teach the young. No, you gotta get them to come to the temple. He said, the young I'm talking about, they come to the temple. Right? So the father left. 1963, he left. There wasn't no time for no suspension, none of that shit. But they tried to bring the shit because, yeah, and he likes smoking cigarettes on the side, and he gambles, and you know, all this other shit. He left. 1963, he left. He had the streets teaching. What in 1960? Fuck you got knowledge of I mean, you can wait till 1964 to start teaching. You know, what were you doing between 63 and 64? Mm. He was teaching 64. He met Black Messiah before he left the temple. Because Black Messiah tried to come into the motherfucking temple with shorts on. <laughs> <laughs> and they stopped him at the door. And that's when he first met Clarence Thirteen X. Right? So anyway, but Law seen and then you teach him in the street. Right? Certain days, certain brothers accept the knowledge. Black Messiah, October 7th. Prince, October 10th. It's time for us to return to glory. God's in earth chilling, constantly building, never distilling. Kings and queens on the scene fulfilling their dreams, wearing flags, crowns, three quarter gowns, breaking mathematics down. Black gods versus the devil. Truth taken to a visible level by crushing the lies believed by the 85. But that's the solution to end the confusion and mental pollution brought about by the devil's educational institution. You need to listen to what you're missing. Stop ass kissing, start insisting. And the truth be told about the slave soul and the promised goal and the genocide that'll make your blood turn cold. War and disease is multiplying and increases and corrupt law enforcement never ceases. And drugs are sold to our children, nephews and nieces. And though you pray hard, ain't no God will come on the sky to wipe your eyes every time you cry. Your third eye must find freedom of mind if you're mentally blind and still eating swine. Well, even the Bible says so that's a crime. It's time to wake. Jake's power is a fake. We got moves to make and our freedom's at stake. And I ain't gonna ask for what I can take and I'll be damned if I negotiate. So when you see the guards chilling, constantly building, don't think we ain't willing to get down with the killing that must take place from face to face with an enemy race who no one could trust cause they're so corrupt and their presence disrupts not only above but below the earth's crust. Why the hell do you think volcanoes erupt? But I'm here to tell you that time is up. Cause the earth is rebelling against those who escaped from their former cave dwellers who came from the cave murdering, stealing, and making slaves on the very same land they stole from the brave. But in the years to follow Y2K, enemies shall pay for the death and destruction they wreaked our way in the name of some gods who they made us pray. But they and their gods will be on their way. Though on this planet, they no longer welcome to stay. And we must return to our glorious days with gods and earth's children. Constantly building, never distilling. Kings and queens on the scene, filling their dreams, wearing flags, crowns, three-quarter gowns, breaking mathematics down. Peace.